Hello, boys and girls. Today we'll be reading Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed, written and illustrated by Mo Willems. Let's meet our author and illustrator, Mo Willems. Mo Willems started to write and illustrate stories when he was just three or four years old. When he showed his stories to adults and they told him they liked them, he worried they were just being polite. So he started writing funny stories. He thought that if the adults laughed, that would mean they really liked the stories. So Mo Willems is both the author and illustrator of Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. We have learned that the author is the person that writes the story, and an illustrator is the person who makes the pictures. Sometimes we find that the author and the illustrator are the same person. Mo Willems is the author and illustrator of Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. Now, are you wondering what a naked mole rat is? This is a mole rat. You can see it has fur and big teeth. This is a naked mole rat. It has big teeth, but do you see any fur on it? Naked mole rats are real animals. They are called naked because they don't have a lot of fur. They are found in Africa and they live in underground homes called burrows. This is the United States. This is where we live. This is Africa. This is where naked mole rats live. So are you wondering why Mo Willems decided to write a book about naked mole rats? Well, let's listen and find out why. He thought it would be so much fun to write about naked mole rats. Naked mole rats are fascinating, interesting, and yucky to look at. And all of those things made me want to write a book about them because I knew that nobody else was going to write a book about naked mole rats because they're just so weird. And then I realized, hey, wait, Mo, you're also so weird. So it worked out fine. Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed is a story about a naked mole rat who, wait for it, gets dressed. And what was interesting to me about that was it wasn't a story about a character discovering something. It was a story about a whole colony, a whole community discovering something. And that something is you can accept mole rats who are different from the mole rat that you are. I love how when Mo Willems thought about writing about naked mole rats, he thought to himself, what the fun he could have doing that. Well, I know I'm ready to read Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. How about you? Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed, written and illustrated by Mo Willems. I'm ready for some fun. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. They are a little bit rat. Two, they are a little bit mole. And three, they are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception. Look! Wilbur, the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. Hello! When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, Ew! Yuck! What are you doing? I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy, or funny, or cool, or I could just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, Ew! Yuck! If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open up a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. But Wilbur thought, that was a great idea. Fun, Warmer, try it, sail. The other naked mole rats did not. 
They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked, naked mole rat of ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt with some summer slacks. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes! Why not? asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told them all about Wilbur. And then he asked why not? Hmm. Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Oh. Then he thought some more. Hmm. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, Gather the colony and I shall make a proclamation. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. A proclamation! A proclamation! A proclamation! But he had no idea what to wear. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. Maybe not safe enough. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat <coughs> and proclaimed, Fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question. Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. One, some of the mole rats were naked. Two, some of the mole rats were clothed. Three, all of the mole rats had a great time. No exceptions. The end. Why not? How was Wilbur different from other naked mole rats? Wilbur doesn't like being naked. He likes wearing clothes, doesn't he? Why do the naked mole rats take Wilbur to see Grandpa? They are hoping that Grandpa can change Wilbur's mind so he'll stop wearing clothes all the time. What does Grandpa say about wearing clothes? He says that wearing clothes doesn't hurt anybody, and if Wilbur wants to do it, he can and that he even tried it and likes it sometimes, too. I hope you enjoyed reading The Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed.